Joining us now with more reaction to last week's presidential debate, former Democratic U.S. Senator Heidi Heitkamp. She's now director of University of Chicago's Institute of Politics and a CBC contributor and former Republican senator and former New Hampshire governor, Judd Gregg. Good morning to both of you. Uh, Heidi Heitkamp, it was nice to see you in Aspen last week, but I want to ask you what you thought of the debate and more importantly, what you think happens next. Well, by any objective measure, this was a bad debate on both sides. But I think Biden basically had one job, and that was to come out and uh, answer the concerns that people had about age, about his ability to serve four more years. I don't think he met that mark. And I think there, there isn't anyone who should suggest that he did. Um, however, the decision on what happens going forward belongs to one person, and that's Joe Biden. And so we'll see what happens. And what's sad about all this debate is it has eclipsed the debate performance of Donald Trump. Donald Trump was calm, which I didn't expect, but he also was not very clear in terms of what he believed and where he was headed. Right. And I think what the American public saw, Andrew, was two candidates that they had an opinion about beforehand saying, I don't like either one of them. Right. None I, of this that, that made that might them be like true, anyone but, better. And before I get to Judd, clearly I think anybody who was watching that performance, uh, it was almost sad to see uh, somebody uh, at that age not be able to perform um, the way you would imagine. And then some of the reporting over the weekend, uh, we just talked to the author of one of the stories, uh, suggesting that lots of people inside the White House have known, uh, in fact, how, how bad it has been, and that perhaps we've all been gaslit over the past several years that people have asked ask questions about age. Um, do you sense a, a shift in terms of how donors are going to behave and what kind of pressure points there will or won't be on the president to, a pet, to potentially step away and find a new nominee? Well, I think Biden has one thing going for him, and his name's Donald Trump. And so as people will look at him and objectively judge him, I think that the bigger concern from donors and from a lot of Democrats is we don't want Donald Trump back in the White House. And so if Biden decides to stay in this, there will be a huge rallying around Biden and, and we'll go forward. But but I think right. it's really up to Joe Biden to, to take a look right. at that debate performance right. and say, can I make it four more years and hey, can I win this election objectively? Hey, Judd, two questions for you. One is you, you've known Joe Biden for a very long time. Uh, what did you think? And two, you were never, I don't think, somebody who was particularly in love uh, with former President Trump. If, in fact, uh, a new right. nominee were to emerge on the Democratic Party side, could you imagine yourself voting for them? Well, on your first question, I did serve with him for 18 years. I liked him. He's a decent individual. But he's not the, not the Joe Biden I served with. He, was, he, he, he projects himself now. He is, unfortunately, feeble, both physically and mentally, it appears. And he, he's going to get feebler. I mean, he's going to be 83, 84, 85, and 86 in his next, if he were reelected. And you can't have a president uh, like that. I think the Democrats have three choices. One, Biden, because of his hubris, stays in. Then they lose the White House. They lose the House. They lose the Senate. And Donald Trump wins, and that must really scare them. Uh, their second choice is he steps aside, and he picks somebody substantive, and they maybe keep the presidency and uh, win the House and maybe even keep the Senate. Or a third path, which I don't think many people have talked about, is he replaces his vice president. Uh, and Franklin Roosevelt did this a lot. Uh, and we got Harry Truman as a result of it, one of the best presidents of the 20th century. Uh, and he brings in somebody who's substantive as vice president, so people are a little more comfortable with voting for him because they presume he's not going to serve out his term. But none of those choices are really very good for the Democratic Party. Uh, they've got serious problems. And the fact that this more senior members of that party haven't stepped up and said, hey, maybe they're doing it in private, but it, they need to do it. They have to go to him and say, listen, Mr. President, uh, you're going to elect Donald Trump, and that's not good for us, and you're going to lose this stuff.